This is lesson 4.5, scatter plots and lines of fit. Your objectives are to investigate relationships between quantities by using points on scatter plots and use lines of fit to make and evaluate predictions. A scatter plot is a graph in which two sets of data are plotted as ordered pairs in a coordinate plane. If y increases as x increases, there's a positive correlation between x and y. If y decreases as x increases, there's a negative correlation between x and y. And if x and y are not related, there is no correlation. When you do scatter plots, plot the points, determine if there's a correlation, and then draw the line that looks like it best goes through those points, and then you will use two of the points on or close to that line to write slope-intercept form. Determine whether each graph shows a positive correlation, a negative correlation, or no correlation. If there is a positive or negative correlation, describe its meaning in the situation. Number one, average weekly work hours in the U.S. This is comparing the years since 1995 and the hours that people work. If you look at those points, it's not perfect, but over time, they do tend to go through that line. It goes downward left to right. As x increases, y decreases, so that's a negative correlation. It goes down left to right. So as time goes on, or increases, the work hours decrease. Look at the points. See if there's a line that can be drawn through them, or close to them, most of them. If it goes up left to right, it's a positive correlation. If it goes down left to right, it's a negative correlation. Number two, average jogging speed. This compares miles per hour with minutes. You can see the way those points are lined up that you can draw a line of best fit that goes down left to right. That is a negative correlation. As time increases, speed, which is miles per hour, decreases. It goes down left to right, so that's a negative correlation. Number three, average U.S. hourly earnings. This compares the U.S. since 2003 and hourly earnings. If you imagine a line going through those points, it would look about like that. Since it goes upward left to right, this is a positive correlation. As time increases, hourly earnings increase. Since x increases as y increases, that's a positive correlation. Number four, U.S. imports from Mexico. This one's comparing imports in billions of dollars with years since 2003. Look at the points and imagine the line that would go through them. It would look about like that. It goes upward from left to right. That's a positive correlation. As time increases, imports increase. As x increases, y increases. And that's a positive correlation. Remember, if x increases as y increases, it's a positive correlation. And if x increases as y decreases, it's a negative correlation. Using lines of fit. To draw lines of fit and get the equation for the line, start by plotting the points. Then draw the line of fit. And finally, use two points that are on or close to the line of fit 
to find the slope, which would then give you slope-intercept form. Write these steps out and follow these steps every time you're doing a scatter plot to find a line of fit. So let's look at this question here. We have a table with years since 1999 and admission dollars to a movie. We're going to make a scatter plot and write the slope intercept form of the equation for the line of fit. Start by drawing the scatter plot. The point zero and five dollars and eight cents is about right there. One and five dollars and thirty nine cents is about right there. Two and five dollars and sixty six cents is about right there. Three and five dollars and eighty one cents is about right there. And four years and six dollars and three cents is about right there. So always start by drawing the scatter plot. Number two, draw a line of fit for the data. Well, if you look at those points, imagine the line that would go through or near most of them. And that line would look about like that. Number three, write the slope-intercept form of an equation for the line of fit. Now we need to take two points that are on or close to the line, and hopefully they're not right next to each other. You should pick points that are a little bit spread apart. That point and that point right there are two good points to use. We could have used other points, but the ones that I've highlighted there, that's a good selection. Those have the coordinates 0 and 5.08 and 3, 5.81. Use those points and find slope-intercept form. Start by finding the slope. Y2 is 6.03 minus Y1 is 5.08 over X2 is 3 minus x1 is 0. When you work that out, the slope is approximately 32 cents. Now we need to find B. We could use that slope and any point on the line to solve for B. However, I know what B is. B is what Y is when X is zero. You can also see on the graph. Where does the line cross the Y axis? Right there. The Y intercept is 5.08. Now, use that slope and that Y intercept to write your final answer y equals 0.32x plus 5.08. Draw the scatter plot, draw the line of fit, and use two points on or close to the line to get slope-intercept form. Start by finding the slope and then find b.